In this video, we're going to show how to use the SysX uh, message programming. It's fairly straightforward with a couple quirks just because this is beta software. Um, there are 140 messages that you can provide uh, in LiquidFoot from 1 to 140. Each system exclusive message uh, can have up to 16 bytes uh, contained within it and each message can be linked to another message so here I have message number one let's call it message header and here is part two so what will happen is if I trigger sysx message number one which I'll show you how to do then after it transmits all 16 uh, bytes of uh, message number one it will then link to message number two and send all the bytes that are in two and again if I need to link more I can go ahead and do that so I'm not going to link any and uh, so here uh, we have 16 bytes that we can program now there are two ways to program sysx messages the first is uh, in the modem in now which is in decimal 127 zero zero one twenty five zero zero twelve and then some data let's say okay now that's if you have decimal values and you know what you uh, need to type in if on the other hand you have hex uh, values hexadecimal values then press this button down here and as we come up we'll notice that all my values turned into uh, hexadecimal and I'll go ahead and finish that sysx message. Okay, so here are a couple quirks. Um, I am on a row that I just edited. Now what you have to do is save each of your changes uh, by row right now. So if I go ahead and press the save button, then I've just saved this uh, sysx message in memory. Now what I'm going to do is actually send it to the liquid foot. So I'm going to go ahead and connect. So here's the trick to um, uh, using sysx until I get this part of the software uh, clean and intuitive. Go ahead and connect to the liquid foot. Type in your sysx message and stay uh, within the row that you want to send to the liquid foot. And go ahead and press save. And when we do that, you'll see the liquid foot light up and it will have saved this sysx message. So that's pretty straightforward how you enter it. Now, how do you trigger it? So let's go to a preset. Let's no, let's go to an IA switch. Let's say an IA switch is going to trigger this preset, uh, this sysx message. So the way you do that is you select special as the command type. In the MIDI channel area, you're going to have all the special commands. You're going to pick the one called sysx block, um, which is actually a six sysx bulk block send that's what that means and then in data 2 we're going to type in the message number that we want to send so if I go back to sysx messages you'll see that this is message number 1 and that's the number I want to send and it's not linked so it's just going to send this MIDI uh, sysx command but it's message number 1 so let's go back to the switch and you'll see that it already says number 1 so now, when IA switch number one is triggered, it will send a command, a special command to the liquid foot that says, please dump sysx block number one. And what will be sent to your device is the sysx command.